2G and 3G cellular networks are going to be getting going away, being discontinued. And we want to make sure that your solar edge inverter can uh, remain online. So today we're going to talk about how to get the uh, internet service to your inverter. So before you start um, opening any covers or working on the inverter, it's very important to turn the um, power coming into the inverter off. So the first step would be to turn the circuit breaker to the inverter off. It should be labeled um, solar PV system um, in red, just like this one here is. So we would want to turn the circuit breaker off. The breakers are usually labeled on and off. So we want to make sure it's um, in the off position before we start working on the inverter and taking off any covers to the inverter. So now that we have turned off the um, AC circuit breaker from the electrical panel to the inverter, the next step we want to do is turn off uh, the DC power of the inverter. Some of these models are different on the inverter. Some, some inverters will have a display here, but turning, turning them on or off is relatively the same. So there's a little uh, toggle switch here. You want to turn that off. You'll hear a little click and also you'll um, see the symbol here where it has a little circle. That means that it's off. And then this is the DC disconnect. You want to turn it horizontal so that it's in the off position. So the power to the inverter has been turned off. Now we want to take off the covers of the inverter. So we'll do that with, a, um, with an Allen key. You can either use a, a drill or a Allen set. All right, we have the cover to the inverter off. And next what we wanna do is we wanna um, get internet to the inverter. So most of you are familiar with uh, computer cables and cords that would plug into like your um, home computer, laptop, things like that. And that's what we're gonna do here. This is an internet cable and it's gonna get routed through this gland here at the bottom. It unscrews, get routed through this gland and then it will plug in to the internet port up here. The other end needs to go, uh, you know, get wired to your router. So there's two options. One is you can, um, some, some people will be able to run an internet cable from the inverter all the way back to their router or a repeater, something like that. Another option that is available is to use something like this. It's a, a power line starter kit. This one in particular is made by TV, uh, TP-Link. It's the model AV600. And what this does is you could plug um, this end into like an outlet in your garage and then the other end plug it in into your, your router in your office. And these should be plugged directly into the wall, not into a power strip. So this would get plugged into the router and the wall in your office and then this will get plugged right into an outlet. And the goal of this is it brings the internet right into the inverter. So with the um, 2G and 3G networks, you know, being discontinued, the reason we're talking about this is because we need to get internet to these inverters. And as mentioned, there's the two options. One is to run a cable directly to your router. And the second option is to use devices like this, um, the TP-Link power line kits or extenders and Wi-Fi range extenders. Unfortunately, these inverters, you cannot connect them to your Wi-Fi directly. So we're relying on this other method to get the internet to the inverter. And once this is plugged into the inverter, we can put the covers back on, restore power to it, and then we will have to go into the inverter and change the communication type. Most likely it's configured for cellular and we just want to update that to um, the LAN connection. 